Oi. Hello there, welcome into Sage Sense of Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here and I do hope you are well. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Your support is abundantly appreciated. I'm going to um, get some general messages for you. These are general, so all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take what applies and the rest, let them fly. All right, thank you for being here. Breathe with me here and I hope we can get some accurate messages out for you. I'm going to be taking a look at what's going on with your today. Today is January 1st. Someone may be looking at you, watching you, spying on you, investigating you. Something having to do with your mind. Some Somebody is studying you. They must study you. Maybe because they're sad, lonely, broken hearted, isolated. Maybe they're studying you. They wonder about you. You're like a mystery to this person. As if they only see you in the streets when you're shopping and then you disappear. You may be gothic, like you don't talk a lot. You don't share much about yourself. This person may know this or notices this about you. But they want to get to know more or really not. I don't know. I don't even know if they want to get to know more. They just... <laughs> what the fuck? It's like this person is watching you, but they act like they're not interested. It's like, oh, who is that over there? Oh, let me see. Oh, it's her. Oh, mm, I don't care. But they're watching you, though. So they're pretending as if they don't care, but they do. They are interested. Maybe you you feel like like competition to this person in a sense, challenge. Maybe because you're not really impressed by them, and they wonder. So like. How do you just come to the supermarket and get your stuff and go and you're not giving me the attention? How come? They think you're so mysterious. There's so sadness too. They may be able to tell that about you. So you may be a loner, keeping yourself to yourself, maybe celibate. We've been seeing that. Not talking to anyone, trusting in your heart space the most. When I see the four hearts, I love that. I, I feel like you're sitting in your heart when I see that. Um, I feel like you're spending time healing your heart, really. But this person is something about your mind. I don't understand it. They're interested in your mind. As if... They want to know what you know. Or they would love to talk with you, to understand, to get to know you maybe. But they are in Jack of Swords energy. So they're not speaking to you. But they're trying to get to know you. Maybe through someone else. Maybe they're watching you. Or dreaming about you. Something about the stars. Okay. This is your daily message. Alright, so I feel like you spend a lot of time to yourself because you're a creator. It's not just that. You write a lot of your emotions out. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you escape to be by yourself, you're over there writing a, a book. And sometimes you write about, like a lot of the times, you're writing about your sadness. Even if you're not physically writing, you're thinking, you're, 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 you're reliving, re-experiencing, like 
going to your room and thinking about all of these things. It's like you're writing it in the stars. I feel like this person wants to erase all the fuckery you've written in the stars. This person feels like an eraser. They have um they have access to the stars. <laughs> all right. What you can hope for for today, the highest, the five memories, past, sample, words, deed, action. I think you're going to get clear understanding today of what is not serving you and what is when it comes to your progress. And it's like people that have been hanging on. It's like you're a train and you need to be. But then I feel people hanging on to the side of you. That sounds horrible, but that's how I feel. And they, they don't, these are the ones that don't mean anything to you. That's what I'm talking about. They keep you trapped in this old life energy. They're not serious, honestly. I mean, they're not as serious as you. You know what I mean? Uh-uh. They're, they're just kiki kiki kind of people. So the highest thing you can do for your day is to detach energies, thoughts, feelings, patterns, people, substances. Use your words. Use your vision. Use your knowledge today to be fabulous, gone with the wind, fabulous, light, light, unstoppable, because you don't have the weight, you're free, you're through your heart, swords, maybe falling away. Let's see what you're coming into. Of ones. It's like a new vision. See what I mean? Because I feel like immediately as you let go of something from your past. And I feel like you're going to do this today. I don't know what this is. It could be things that you wrote. Things that you set up for yourself. Dang it. And like, are you gonna just cut cut the ties? Are you gonna cut certain ties? And remember, it's not necessarily physical people. It can also be energies, thoughts. You know what I mean? You're moving into something, so it's like you're bursting out of the earth with the ace of wands. It's like you're a star coming alive with the fire energy. It's like you're moving so fast as the jack of um, swords. It's like you're so moving so fast at the speed of light. And then you emerge as like a star. And this is the outcome of your day, something new. Maybe land, something you're inheriting. Land, money, something new, a new feeling, a new flame, a new relationship. <sighs> Definitely come in into something new, something that you've declared or visualized. So let's see how you feel. Oh my god. You feel like money. Like, right now you feel good, like you're expecting like around you a lot of good things. You know what I mean? It's like being in the stars. I like this energy. You may not feel it completely yet, like you may doubt that your energy is changing and this is what is you, how you attract. You may be moving to, to a new city or it's just, an, it's a new state where the stars are. The Ten of um, Pentacles is also the energy of new, a new vibration in wealth or a lot of gains coming into you. You see that like 10 pentacles that's how you feel good like doesn't and like me you know what i mean yeah feel like the stars 
Alexi, no, we're gonna look a little bit more deeply. Ah, yes, because there's something else, like you may not believe it. Inside. You know what? Don't neglect your spirituality to connect, to pray. Because you need to build up that place of wealth in you as well. So you look outside how you feel inside. So it all meshes, it makes sense together. It's like a divine union with the four, four, two, two. Your word and your will, your feeling and your action, your external and your internal aligning well. And when you know this, sometimes you, you may be taking a break, relaxing, letting things down a bit. I like that. It's the energy of, okay, let me listen. All right, let me breathe. Let me settle down. Let me hear what you have to say. Okay. So now you're open. So. Messages. You know what you're open to? Believing or accepting your own happiness and well-being. Because I'm telling you, you're the ten of pentacles and you're doubting it. But why do you do that? You know, why are you not open to the thought of your own happiness and well-being? Why don't you believe it inside? The nine of hearts is the energy of manifested happiness. Happiness that you've made possible within yourself because you have found your divine connection so an abundant, unending, everlasting flow of love, the Ace of Cups. And you've done this because you've had to spend a lot of time alone to love yourself, to heal yourself, and to bring yourself back to life, which is why yourself loves you and which is why you love yourself, evidently, and which is why you're going to make the best decision for you going forward today. A new feeling, a new vibe. It's good. It has something to do with work and your creativity, your gifts from your ancestors, your connection to your spirituality, a friend today. So let's see what your outcome is. You know what? I feel like you're going to receive. <laughs> it's almost like you're go it's going to come into your life so wonderfully. It could be coming from the past. But maybe it's not going to be a big deal. Like someone is going to come and hand you this because you're getting this something new. And it may have to do with your stability, your finances as well. Something to do with your land, your heritage, your roots, your family, your self empowerment. But it's like you're going to receive it, but your, your days. Maybe you're not going to be celebrating. Maybe because you have to be leaving things behind and so on and so forth. So it's not necessarily a day of joy. Maybe it's a day of reflection. Of what you've lost. Much love to you. Thank you so much for coming through. And I do hope you found some messages that resonates with you and is able to help you on your journey. If you did, hit the like button on your way out. Share the messages you love by hitting share. Share WhatsApp, Facebook, and your blogs. And subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. All of your support is abundantly appreciated. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember that you are all and all is within you. What good?